Muito antes de controlar a faixa de Gaza, onde está em guerra com Israel, o Hamas, movimento islâmico de resistência, ficou conhecido pelos atentados suicidas. Jovens palestinos que se infiltravam entre a população de Israel e explodiam bombas, matando centenas de civis israelenses. Agora surge o primeiro relato dos bastidores dessa história trágica. O livro Filho do Hamas, que acaba de ser lançado no Brasil, é a história do jovem palestino Mossab Hassan Youssef, filho de um dos fundadores do Hamas, que se desiludiu com a violência da organização e se tornou espião, ajudando Israel a prender um grande número de terroristas. Mossab vive hoje nos Estados Unidos, para onde veio depois de 10 anos, ajudando Israel a combater a organização que o próprio pai, o Sheikh Hassan Youssef, ajudou a criar. Convertido ao cristianismo, ele acredita que sua mensagem, o amor ao inimigo, é a única forma de superar a violência no Oriente Médio. Ameaçado de morte pelo Hamas, deserdado pelo pai, Mossab anda sem seguranças, mas não dá endereço ao telefone. A equipe do Milênio gravou a entrevista com ele no estúdio da Globo em Nova York. So let's start, Mossab, by talking about uh, your your youth when you grew up uh, in uh, in uh, the Palestinian occupied territories. How was it to to live under the Israeli occupation? For a child, this is uh, one of the worst uh, environment uh, to uh, grow up. And uh, I was witnessing lots of uh, killing, lots of death. I was living next to a cemetery, and uh, all the dead bodies would come there. Uh, people were killed and shot by the Israelis. Um, it was uh, very uh, difficult for me as a child to be witnessing all this uh, violence. Uh, today, also, the children of Gaza, the children of the West Bank, having uh, uh, grown up under the same circumstances, also, uh, 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 Jewish uh, children are witnessing uh, lots of uh, violence. Maybe not as much as Palestinians are uh, witnessing, but uh, uh, it's uh, a new generation that is feed on uh, violence and blood. And I am afraid for the future of the uh, next uh, generations to come from the Middle East. And I hope that uh, soon leaders start to uh, recognize uh, the psychological impact on those uh, children uh, so we don't produce more uh, hateful generations for the future. Your father uh, is one of the founders of Hamas. But uh, if I understood well reading your book, he didn't want you to be part of Hamas. You were not uh, recruited. You were not uh, really one of the Hamas men. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, first of all, did I want to be one of Hamas uh, men? Um, I uh, was asked uh, to be close to Hamas, not to be involved with Hamas. By your father? Uh, in fact, that was by the Shembet later on. But by my father, uh, it's the heart of uh, the father. And uh, he didn't prevent me of uh, participating in Hamas. But uh, I could see in his eyes that he didn't want me uh, to get killed or get hurt or even being imprisoned uh, for that reason. He thought that it was enough for him uh, to be facing all this type of problems. And w while he's gone, he was relying on me to take care of my mother and my brothers. So uh, in his opinion, if both of us were gone, nobody was there to take care of the family. But when you were 18, you wanted to kill Israelis when you saw all the violence around you. And you bought uh, weapons and you were arrested for that. And you were mm -hmm. tortured in prison. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about the Israelis when that happened? Um, for any Palestinian, uh, I say that we, I used to hate the Jews. And uh, Muslim Palestinians hate the Jews for two reasons. The first reason is ideological reason that the God of Islam doesn't like Jews. The second reason that uh, they view Israel as uh, occupation force, and Israel is occupying the Palestinian territories. And uh, it used uh, aggression, assassinations, killing 
uh, uh, many times and I don't justify the Israeli aggression no matter what while I understand uh, the right of Israel to live but for those this aggression and for this ideological problem Palestinians in general uh, want to fight Israel so they, some of them think this is how we defend ourselves some of them want to take revenge from Israel for the hate that was produced because of this environment I was one of those victims and I thought the way to gain our freedom w would be by killing Jews so I wanted to kill Jews later on as you said I was tortured I never killed a Jew I never used the weapons they didn't work and I was arrested before they were used and uh, I was tortured in prison uh, under uh, uh, the Israeli authority and then the Shin Bet, the security uh, organization in Israel, uh, invited you, asked you, what happened? They, they wanted you to be an informer, and you wanted to use that to infiltrate them so you could kill them. Is that what you were thinking at the time? Y yes. Uh, at that time, uh, uh, after I was uh, tortured, in fact, uh, while I was under the torture, uh, the Israeli Shin Bet, Israeli intelligence, uh, asked me to work for them. I was asking. Are those guys uh, idiots or what's their problem? They're torturing me, they're arresting my father, they're killing my people, and they're asking me now to work for them. I thought that would be a great opportunity at that time to infiltrate the Shembet and fool them and uh, uh, kill them from inside. So uh, that I was 18 years old, I was full of hate. I had enough reasons to hate them, in fact. Uh, they gave me all the reasons to hate them and want to take revenge from them. Uh, I decided to work for them and for them, and uh, this is how uh, I started working for the Shem Bet. But how did your mind change about that? Uh, later on, I was transferred uh, to a prison uh, where other Palestinians uh, and uh, Hamas uh, leaders were torturing their own members. And uh, I was shocked. I understood the Israeli torture against Palestinians and persecution. But what I couldn't understand, why Hamas and Palestinians are torturing and persecuting their own people. Fatah tortured its own people, and Hamas learned the lesson from Fatah to torture their people. Most Palestinian factions tortured their members and killed some of them um, uh, for the uh, accusation of collaborating with Israel. Now, uh, I start to question, what's the difference between the Israeli torture and the Palestinian torture? Why do I hate Israel because it tortured me and I don't hate Palestinians because they torture my friends? And they could even torture me. So I had to be somehow honest and think as a human being, not as a Palestinian and as Israelis. And I saw the uh, uh, ugly side of Palestinians as I saw the ugly side of the Israelis. And to me, torture was torture and that opened uh, uh, the door for the journey of questioning that took several years after that.